very good evening to all of you and once again i'm back with gup shap or good see before i invite today's guest for the you know some interaction and just to talk about this gentleman yes he is a gentleman let me just give a little uh, brief about why did i invite him and what inspires me when he it when it comes to him so long back even before i was married i used to uh, go for trekking now the very first time in 2000 itself i went for the trekking and i remember that it was so difficult for me so difficult because i belong to a family where exercise yoga everything is given importance at mountaineering trekking hiking kuch bhi nahi hum logo ke time pe or neither in my family nobody used to go for trekking the first time when i went and i'm so used to a print of proper life that uh, mountains mein rehna there are no proper washrooms and kabhi to do do din tak you don't have an even have your bath and that you know kind of it was little difficult for me to uh, manage and you know sink in uh, there was a gentleman uh, colonel shri okay with he was the first uh, person uh, who you who kind of motivated me that you should be going out for trekking and all my age uh, people were there so i was like okay ja sakti hu kind of and uh, he was also accompanying all of us there were doctors that there was a team of doctors and people who could cook and everything was set okay and we had a base camp at uh, rani khet and from there we used to go further for trekking every day i would cry and say okay i want to go back home this is in 2000 i'm talking about long back right and every day i used to tell colonel shri i want to go back home i don't want to carry on further and every day he used to tell me one cent riddhi remember one thing in life it's not about trekking it's not about mountains it's not about conquering mountains it's all about conquering yourself it's all about having a faith in yourself having a trust in yourself and somewhere i feel you can do this those words are still on my head and very often now i'm coming back to the guest of uh, for today so very often i have seen him on social media specifically facebook he talks about his mountaineering experiences he talks about his impromptu treks he talks about um you know the life uh, which is within the four walls of your house but it's outside in nature uh albeit um I have barely met him twice uh, during this um, course of my life uh, but uh, somewhere through his post somewhere through his um, sharings and all i always felt ki kuch to hai Uh, wish I can do something like this, and from 2000 till date, I would say even before I got married, from 2000 to 2009, those nine years, not a single year it was that I didn't go for trekking, and I have gone for hardcore trekking, right? In fact, I was even uh, uh, certified by Discovery for the first woman uh, to go for mountain biking, right? So that was my journey. But I remember in 2000 what happened to me. and somewhere i could so connect with the guest uh, uh, of uh, the guest who was there with us today at gaps up or could see because he is he is somebody who believes exactly in what colonel shri used to tell me so for me colonel shri was the epitome of a mentor of being a mentor and that's exactly what i see in this gentleman acha kuch to guess hua hoga aapko आप इनको बहुत अच्छे से जानते हैं you are going to uh, hear from yatin and there's lots that can really motivate you 
आपको ऐसा लगेगा कि जो आज ही अभी ही निकल पड़ती हूँ बैग पैक लेके और बस निकलना है काइंड ऑफ सो प्लीज लिसन टू इस जर्नी प्लीज लिसन टू व्हाट ही शेयर्स एंड यू नो इट्स इट्स गोइंग टू बी रियल इंस्पायरिंग सो लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस मिस यतिन के रात टू एवरीबॉडी यतिन इज अ पर्सन विद मेनी मेनी हेड्स बट द वन ही वेयर्स विद मोस्ट प्राइड इज दैट ऑफ अ माउंटेनियर an electronic engineer by qualification he found the call of the uh, of the hills much more allure much more attracting than the clicks of electronics wonderful and spent a great part of his youth conquering the himalayas first as a mountaineer and then as a search and rescue person and as a trainer as well my goodness Yatin has also mastered the skills of NLP. He is a certified practitioner of uh, MBTI as well, an ACCI certified performance enhancement coach, and an IAF certified professional facilitator. And not only this, friends. Besides all this, Yatin has been a wonderful inspiration for me. His love for wildlife, unplanned trips and treks with his family, and the just for life are truly marks of a man who lives the life really big. Big is not, you know, it's not the right word. I would say it's big. So welcome once again, Yatin. Um, Thank you. To Gupshap or Seek, and as a ritual, I'm going to ask you a few questions, which are kind of a rapid fire, because I want that people who inspire me. uh all those the viewers should be knowing the other side of yatin garada not the professional side of yatin so yes. tell me uh five things which people don't know about you ah five things people don't know about me uh before i go ahead and start uh, just let me tell you the unlock has happened in mumbai and maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow i am off to mountains again <laughs> <laughs> so thank god i thought you at the right time and the right day ah <laughs> uh, yes and in the mountains where there is no range there is only nature nature and nature yeah Ah, so uh, five things about me. Uh, everything is again associated with nature. Uh, I'm a green thumb, meaning I'm crazy about plantations, planting. And I remember in my childhood days, my neighbors used to call me, "Yar, ye tulsi ka jhad hamare idhar tikta nahi hai. Can you come and do it?" And you know, oh. I would go and do the needful immediately. and trust me I, i i kind of when i when i plant it uh, i kind of talk to the plant okay and i kind of relate with it and i just say hey be good here this is a good soil and i am around to take care of you and probably the answer i used to get from the plant is i will take care of myself and thank you and you know those kind of things it's, it's something crazy but I, i remember talking to plants remember talking to dogs the aquarium fishes so yes the green thumb is a crazy thing you know the, the retirement plan is uh, go back where i belong like wow. you know there is a farmer alive in me so already i started looking for some farm house uh, where i can go and spend the rest of my life uh second thing is i'm very good aquarium fish breeder uh, this is something many people don't know about me that is another world like from the age of 5 uh, i would be i would be crazy for fishes and especially the aquatic fishes okay wow. until uh, i think uh, till 2008 i used to have a huge hatchery in malad you know the people who know me from that realm of the world uh, they know me well and i was uh, really good with the one specific fish which is most difficult to breed and that is a discus fish you know it's a it's a it's a round uh, fish and beautiful the thing that attracted me about that fish is uh, is from a cichlid variety they're supposed to be aggressive but okay. this specific fish the pair would take care of the hatchlings and they would feed their babies from the mucus secretion of their body and Ooh. to see that scene inside your house inside the fish tank nothing less than miracle and i used to be one of the best i was also lecturer at uh, cif central institute of fisheries education as a aquatic aquatic expert 
so the second thing third is i'm more than a mountaineer i'm a cyclist i've done a massive long distance cycling which is something like uh, 51 times pune my gosh 80 or, 80 or times alibag and 100 mumbai plus to, times uh, do you mean yes, to say mumbai yes, to pune yes oh. yes yes and uh, uran 100 times plus this is just to practice and to feel the journey you know and why these three places because everywhere i had my relatives staying and so that i don't have to spend money staying somewhere else so yes that's what it is uh, and it's it's on this passion of cycling is on from the age of 17 and yes the current one which is again ongoing from the age of 21 is uh, rescuing reptiles even now, right behind my laptop, there is a cat which is sleeping. Uh, that cat was rescued, it was accident and I just got it home. I mean, there was pandemic outside, I couldn't do anything. So for one and a half year, that two of the cats are with me. And, and where yes. do you then, after you rescue, uh, where hmm. do you keep those animals? I'm certain, I'm, I'm sure. So, that it's yeah. for a few days it is with you then what yes 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 so cat has remained with me since it is keepable uh, but when it comes to snakes and other reptiles uh, we call the right agency and then uh, if not uh, it is ultimately given to the sanjay gandhi national park oh. me my son tanveer all of us like we are crazy about it I mean, you know, we I look out for it I had and, read Tanvi's uh, post on Facebook about he rescuing yes. a snake and I mean yes, uh, that time yes, only yes, I was yes. feeling as a oh, kaise se hoga ye? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, so that's what it is. Uh, yeah, and, 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 and when I, I mean yesterday when you talked to me, Riddhi, I remember uh, what all these things and you're going to uh, unveil uh, one part of my life or few parts of my life which people don't know about me uh, I kind of went into retrospection and there are common threads emerging you know wonderful. it's all about nature it's all about sharing it's all about caring and it's all about uh, enjoying the journey more than absolutely. destination absolutely. living in living in here and now Absolutely, that's very important, living in here and now. But I could sort of resonate with something what you said, Yatin, that talking to the plants. Because uh, when I was very young, probably in school, uh, we had a huge garden where we used to stay. And my mother always used to tell me that we were in the garden, there was a garden in the garden. My mom used to always tell me that if you that you don't have anybody to talk, you can just talk to any of these plants, you know and feel home. So I used to create hammocks for jhaar ke beech mein hammock create karke mali bhaiya ke saath help leke and I used to be there for hours and hours and I still I have beautiful gardens created at my place and I talk to my plants. I sit in the morning with a cup of tea and I talk to them, I hug them, I touch them and you feel so connected so I can so Absolutely. resonate with it. Yes. Um, yeah then four things that that is most dear to you. Freedom is one major important thing that's very dear to me. Uh, second is me and all my uh, near dear ones. They're so, so very, very dear to me. Always. My connection with God through nature, which is the third thing. And fourth thing is uh, God has given me the birth of a human being. This is very dear to me, you know. I, I see other animals, they don't have a thinking capacity and feeling capacity. Absolutely. God has given me a birth of human being. This is, these are the things very dear. Uh, wow, wonderful. That, that's so pure as well. Um, three things that we find on your bedside table. Uh, typically unopened or half open book. My Kindle. <laughs> my mobile charger and i'm a bit crazy about the power banks you know even oh. if i'm at home i would always have one power bank around me so it's exactly near my bedside table it's kind of a box things. <laughs> no 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 uh, so Riddhi, it comes from it comes from a mountaineering background you know in mountaineering when you plan you just have to plan for what it is Absolutely. and then think about what if 
and then all what if scenarios a plan b and plan c and plan d and what not you know Absolutely. so so making provision in advance lovely you know? lovely two things which you are passionate about very passionate about i would say uh i would say again it's uh, one is nature and second is being given a birth as a or taken a birth as a human being it is uh, make a difference in people's lives awesome and one thing which you always wanted to do but you could not do it up till now if i right? uh address terrorism to the tune of neutralizing it the terrorism exists on this planet because some needs are not met some human beings are not heard and uh, inequality is prevailing so addressing that that's my ultimate goal and if you ask me the second one is to work for united nations Love you. Things, i mean that's yes. the uh, what we work with united nations and what we if you can just help us understand uh, yes there are there are many aspects in which uh, one can contribute but the uh, my way is very clear my way is very clear and that is uh, create facilitators and making them understand what facilitation can do you know that's where exactly it belongs where the participatory environment is needed and uh, the volunteers which go out you know uh, they need to have this all the volunteers the the managers the leaders the ngo in charge everyone it should be completely facilitated which unfortunately it is not i have been teaching lot of msw and bsw students uh, when they come out with their degrees and uh, you know colorful mark sheets uh, it, it appears that they are not able to deal with the outside reality absolutely it's very bookish knowledge which they possess absolutely I, I, yeah i i feel absolutely. that so now coming to some serious discussion you know your love for mountains is very much known to all of us right what is something that really uh, inspires you when it comes to mountains uncertainty there is nothing that is certain out there and you need to be here and now you need to understand how nature around you how how things around you are evolving and making and taking decisions based on that okay we from mumbai typically you talked about rani khet as the best camp and you know i've done my basic advanced search and rescue moi all these courses and some expeditions as well himalayan expeditions we make a plan but our plan starts with the ticket for going and ticket for coming back everything else in between it is uncertain absolutely you know, once you are up out there in mountain everything is uncertain and just take it in i mean i'll give you example i have i've been to a trek called nane ghat which is in marches ghat mm. uh, uh, i have i have roam sayadri more than probably himalayas i've been there 51 times all my all my trekking experience the sorry nane ghat trek is 47 times but before my, i hang my shoes i will want to do it at least 50 times it's a tough trek reasonably tough trek there's a cave up there i've oh. stayed in those caves almost always and uh, every time i found route is different the plantation around trees the the wilderness around me is different on top once you go on the plateau of junnar it is different the wind the sun the the monsoon everything is different trust me that's heaven that's heaven if you ask me i give you a five day stay in five star hotel and one night in that cave by all means i will choose that one night in nanega cave i have never thought of staying in a cave i'll be that been to junnar but staying in a cave i'm mean, i'm sure it's going to be a complete different experience you know i mean have you stayed alone or you had people who accompanied you uh all of this all of this together uh, most of the time it's people initial pieces were with couple of friends and you know cook your own meals and find the water and you know what not 
and uh, later on i realized that i have to give this experience to youngsters so i used to lead treks i used to be treks i think more than 1000 treks uh, according to me wow. which i could count but now it is not now i am not counting anymore but trust me there are many places many places which will which will take you very close to nature for some people it is scary okay it's i mean there is no electricity as you mentioned there are no washrooms and how do you do it i was i was with one of the mba college students and early in the morning he just asked me sir abhi subah ke program ke liye kahan jana hai i said in marathi hai vishwachi maze ghar and you just go and help yourself and he waited for 15 20 minutes and after that he couldn't control and after that when he came back how's it and he said sir nothing compared to this experience so i i get so resonant with because exactly i was talking but in 2000 ye meri aisi hi halat thi but from 2000 to 2009 something which i had beautiful experiences in life okay yeah then tell me one thing that treks are often yeah. the planned exercise okay to prepare for an emergency um but you always i have seen lot of post on social media you know your post uh, your son's post wherein you talk about unplanned uh, treks and trip t- uh, trips you know so do you love playing with danger or how do you manage don't you really get scared or i mean how do you go about it how do you do it i do get scared but i do get scared here on the road because i don't know who is driving car which way okay but out there in nature i don't get scared i don't so get there, scared. there must be some it's, reptiles which are really dangerous or probably that's exactly sometimes. that's exactly the reason i learned to uh connect with them better and that's how i managed to rescue them we never rescue reptiles from the jungle we always rescue reptiles who happen to come in the civilian area that's when they need all of them they have a right to be where they are and it's we the human being we are expanding things uh, into their territory look at look at now current situation what is what is what corona has done nature is at large absolutely we are the captives we are the captors and i That's i can now listen belongs. to all that chirping the birds chirping in the morning and it is so divine i can see even mountains from my place before i could never see mountains you know it's all smoggy around so i mean it's beautiful yeah, yeah. it's beautiful uh just a uh, little more greedy to ask you that when we're talking about uh, you know getting scared of fear and all did did ever you experience that uh, you've lost the track or probably you're not with the people um or probably just not you know because when i was going for track i had couple of challenges i'd hurt myself wo lich lagi thi pair mein and lot of things i had i've seen you know during my this nine years and uh, so i always have that okay i have to be well equipped while i go out for a track did you ever feel that So yes I am always prepared and well equipped uh, half the dispensary I carry with me with the knowledge about uh, first aid and the basic first aid advanced first aid and all that is needed so we do carry but when it comes to when it comes to how do you feel inside when you are out there in nature i forget that i have medicines which i might need you know uh with the you've done the tricks and those who are, those who will listen to this uh, uh broadcast uh, they will also resonate if they have been out there ek shuru mein dikkat hoti hai kaun se patthar pe kaise pair rakho you know how i'm going yes. to place it after yes. 15 20 minutes you get used to after an hour it becomes a motor skill to you okay and that's when you are really getting connected with the trail with the terrain you know when there are thorny shrubs around initially you are so scared and you really okay be careful and then afterwards you get used to it okay yes. that is what i call start existing with nature accommodate nature in you absolutely once you are done that the natural rhythm will come and that natural rhythm is what it takes you know i i remember you talk about tough treks and all those things trekking and mountaineering is a state of mind period and out 
you have to be fit here and once you're fit there everything else follows same is with what we call as a in the flow yes all the trekkers mountaineers long distance runners cyclists pain is for first you know that half an hour or one hour after that you get used to it and you become you get into the flow and once you're in the flow uh, your mind takes over and once your mind takes over wow i mean i mean i mean you just have to you just have to be i usually when i walk i get so lost in looking around that i forget what kind of time i have to walk and what is the time i have to reach and all that i mean i i behave differently if i'm leading the trek and i am responsible for 40 or 50 odd participants but trust me the leadership lessons what i, I say it proudly i'm mba in mountains wow everything that i know has been learned from mountains and that is the extension which i also do which is uh, outbound training you know yes uh, learning through doing activities and debriefing and you know learning through that so the whole leadership can be learned from the mountains or mountaineering uh, lovely that that's lovely i mean i might not have experiences like you but i still remember once it was that we were ranani khet and uh, we didn't sleep the whole night because we wanted to see the trishul in the morning you know on the himalayas the first ray of the sun so whole night we were just waiting we were six of us and we were waiting to just see that and that was so divine around 4:30 4:35 and we saw it and it was like experience for lifetime you know it was worth being awake i get, i i i am so getting goosebumps now Tell me one thing, Yatin. What is your understanding about human psyche when it comes to facing challenges? As you rightly said some time back, that it's all here, you know, getting tired or feeling uh, like people like me who started in like years before or years back, I would say, um, before is not the right English. Uh, so years back when when I did. Um, you know there were times wherein your upbringing also matters so like it's print and proper things have to be got from there to a mountain area so uh, how, what do you feel i mean how, what is your understanding about human psych, uh, psyche when it comes to challenges how easy it is for people to face uh i will answer it with a small story and before that i just want to say one thing that you're talking to a person who have been through uh four near death experience oops meaning it's gone life is gone now now if there is anything i have to do i have to do it and you know hand is wounded through accident and all those kind of things couple of times on the rock once in himalayas and once in water okay oops. uh being cancerian i'm extremely good swimmer so i am like i'm completely i'm fish i'm i'm like fish in water okay but still the circumstances uh, bring you to a situation where you feel uh, you just have to thank everyone in life and wait for death to come to you Oops. having said this having said this what works is belief okay that belief that you have that power to act and you can do it uh that's all what it takes okay that's all what it takes so when it comes to human psyche and uh, the way we accept challenges a uh, small story is this i was doing a program for one of the one of the senior uh, hod of one eminent company and he asked me to do four batches in every batch there was a experience of rock climbing and rappelling okay. first he enjoyed himself second batch again he came i asked sir you can be at the resort i will just get it done and during debrief time you can come you have experience he said no let me do it the, these batches were at the with the distance i mean the, the the span of one month you know or one batch per month kind of thing okay the fourth batch when we were done and we were sitting in the evening together and having a general chat so i asked him why did you do four times you know once is enough second third fourth So he said, "You won't understand yet. In I uh, used to be afraid of swimming if I'm not able to see the guard, you Ooh. know, in in my in my in my visible uh, area. 
I would be afraid of driving if my driver is not sitting next to me. And he said, now I swim, regardless of whether that lifeguard is there or not, or I drive car. So I don't, I do need driver, but sometimes I do without driver. So I said, wow, I mean, good, nice. He said, Yatin, you don't understand. In past four months, after those experiences, I got the profit for my company almost to the tune of 300 crores. I said, wow. He said, no, you still don't understand. How what I did with you transpired into the way I live my life. There was some risk I was not taking. And I started taking those risks, knowing that I can do it. And therefore, this change. And I said, wow, I mean, outbound training or the adventure setup training can really, can really benefit. Okay. Coming back to Psyche. A lot of us, we need to unlearn a lot many things. You know, uh, you can be afraid of anything. That's because you're told to be afraid of things. And therefore, you are afraid. Uh, going in mountains, you realize these are really not the limits. You know, these are really not the limits. On the trek, I don't know when you go up or come down, you may have seen the locals walking by you. Yes. You look at their attire, you look at their footwear, and you feel ashamed. I am not Nike ke achche bade or trekking ke achche Gore-Tex company ke shoes 15,000 ke use kar raha and they are just walking in the slippers. And that some of them even bare lovely feet. Lovely speed. The speed is amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah with the, with, yes, speed is amazing with the load on their head. And we are carrying good rucksacks and they are carrying the, the, the makeshift tokris kind of thing. And that's who they are. They will not be able to speak like us. They will not be able to think and behave like us. But that's, that's where like I call close to the nature. Okay. So a lot of things one need to unlearn. And if you do that, uh, life will be much easier. You, you just have to discover your connect with the nature. And I will add a little uh, that, to that what you would. said, Yatin, is that the people living in mountains mm. or who are full and, uh, you know, kind of spending too, man, too much time in nature, I have not seen any mental health mm. issues happening to those people, you know. They are very much yeah. in here and now yeah. they are so connected with self and, uh, you know, they know mm. that they can trust their abilities and they can trust their strength. So the mental health issues are very, very less. You, when you see that people living mm. in mountains or who are constantly living a life amidst nature. Now that really works uh, wonders. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, Yatin, yes. what is the yes. topmost on your bucket list and what are you doing about it? Ah, topmost on my bucket list is to travel. Just travel, travel, travel and travel. I use the excuse of a workshop and get paid for that. But the real part I enjoy is travel. Maybe right. next week I'm again off either to Jaipur or something. I don't know, but but then I'm off. Okay. Uh, so travel is something that, that keeps me alive. That's, that's the topmost on my bucket list. There is nothing as such. I have to travel to the place because I don't care. I care about the journey. I never right. care about the destination. There are times I've been to Shirdi and didn't go to the temple. Just by...